The new Nevada land claim agreement was signed on May 25, 1993. In Eagleut by representatives of the Tongavik Federation of Nunavut, the Government of Canada and the Government of the Northwest Territories. This agreement gave the Inuit of the Central and Eastern Northwest Territories a separate territory called Nunavut. It is the largest Aboriginal land claim settlement in Canadian history. The NLCA consists of 42 chapters, which address a big range of aspects like wildlife management and harvesting rights, land water and environmental management regimes, parks and conservation areas, heritage resources, public sector employment and contracting, and a range of other issues. The agreement indicates two areas that are the focus of the agreement, the first area consists of the Arctic Islands and the mainland Eastern Arctic, and their adjacent marine areas. The second area includes the Belcher Islands, its associated islands and adjacent marine areas. NLCA provides the Inuit of Nunavut with certain features, equal representation of Inuit with the government on a new set of wildlife management, resource management and environmental boards. In addition to the creation of management and advisory groups, and various financial considerations, the NCLA gave the Inuit of Nunavut title to approximately 350,000 km2 of land, of which, 35,257 kilometers to include mineral rights. The right to harvest wildlife on lands and waters throughout the Nunavut settlement area. A share of federal government royalties from oil, gas and mineral development on Crown lands. The right to negotiate with industry for economic and social benefits from the development of non-renewable resources on Inuit-owned lands. The creation of three federally funded national parks. Capital transfer payments of $1.9 billion over 15 years and a $13 million training trust fund for the establishment of the government of Nunavut. A history of the Nunavut land claim process. In 1973, the Inuit Taperisit of Canada began research on Inuit land use and occupancy in the Arctic. Three years later, in 1976, the ITC put forward the idea of creating a new Nunavut Territory in the Federal Electoral Boundaries Commission that recommended dividing the Northwest Territories into two electoral districts, the Western Arctic and Nunatsiaq. The Tongavik Federation of Nunavut negotiated the land claims agreement with the federal government in 1982. Voting in the Northwest Territories determined the creation of new Nunavut with a passing vote of 56%. The TFN and representatives from the federal and territorial governments signed the land claims agreement in principle in 1990. In 1992 the TFN and federal negotiators agreed on the substantive portions of the new Nevat land claims agreement. On May 25, 1993, Paul Quasa, then president of the Tongavik Federation of New Nevat and Brian Mulroney, then prime minister of Canada signed the new Nevat land claims agreement. On July 9, 1993 the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement and Nunavut Act were adopted by the Parliament of Canada and received royal assent. In 1998, amendments to the Nunavut Act were adopted by Parliament and received royal assent. In 1999 on April 1, Nunavut with an independent government became a reality. Amendments to the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement, since the NLCA was signed in 1993, there have been implemented amendments. The major amendments in 1995 and 1996 were alterations to different official event dates. Articles 5.4.2, 5.6.25, 8.2.2, 8.2.3, of the new Nevada Land Claim Agreement were changed. On March 1, 2002, Schedule 29-3 of the new Nevada Land Claim Agreement was replaced. References External links, New Nevada Land Claim Agreement, Table of Contents, Government of New Nevada.